What's going on guys, T-Mart here, and today I've got something a little bit different for you all. So I wanted to kind of uh, recap my last week at E3 and at the X Games, because I was planning on bringing you guys like daily vlogs from these events, but everything was just so crazy, like I, I didn't have time to pull out my camera and record, and I didn't have time to put a vlog together or anything like that. Like it was just, it was constant non-stop action. It was a lot of fun, one of the best trips I've had to date through this whole YouTube thing. And I kind of want to recap it, because I had some pretty interesting stuff happen. Uh, I think you guys will enjoy it as well as it's kind of cool to document this stuff because I uh, you know when I'm older I can look back on some of these videos and remember some of the good times so yeah I've got some pictures and some videos and stuff I can share with you guys along with some of these stories but uh, yeah here we go so uh, the uh, the very first thing that happened to me out of the whole weekend kind of like set the tone for everything so what it was is the X Games were in Austin Texas so I flew into Austin and I got off the plane I went down I was waiting for my bag waiting for my bag waiting for my bag and it never came so I went into like the the baggage tracking service and they were like oh your bag didn't get on your plane it's gonna be on another plane here in like 15 minutes and I was kind of mad because I was supposed to meet some people for dinner or something like that and so I was gonna have to wait like 15 minutes for the plane to get there and then like another 25 minutes for the bag to get off so it was like it was put me back like an hour, hour and a half, something like that. I was kind of mad. So I walked back out and I was sitting there waiting for my bag. And I'm sitting there, sitting there, sitting there. And then all of a sudden I noticed out of the corner of my eye this really, really short guy walked by. And I was like, there's no chance. And I look and it was freaking Wee Man. <laughs> Wee Man, dude. I've always been such a big fan of like Wee Man and Bam and you know Steve O and Chris Pontius and you know all of those guys like the the Jackass, the Wild Boys, the you know all of that stuff. That's like my childhood. Like I remember watching those shows regularly and those movies regularly. So. I was like super starstruck. I went up, talked to him. I took a picture with him. You can see right here. I am six foot five, and he's like four foot something. Like it was really, really funny. Uh, and he was joking around. He was like a really cool, really down to earth dude. Like he, he wasn't like stuck up at all. He didn't, you know, act like he was, you know, too good to talk to me or something like that. It was kind of cool. And and we were just talking. And, he said, like, uh, it's awkward to stand next to somebody so tall. And I was like, it's awkward to stand next to somebody I've seen naked so many times. Because, like, literally, he's always naked in all those uh, videos and movies and stuff. And, and so he just started cracking up. It was really, really funny. <laughs> and, yeah, so it was just it was kind of cool. Like, I had a really good experience with Wee Man. And it wasn't, like, one of those awkward encounters, like, oh, hey, I'm a fan. Let's take a picture. And then I'm going to awkwardly stand next to you and stare at you. Like, it, we were actually, like, almost like we were friends hanging out. Like, he was just a really, really cool dude. So if you guys ever get a chance to meet Wee man he's a good guy but anyway yeah so that's pretty much all we did that day you know I got my bag we went we ate I had like this crazy uh, brat that had like bacon and mac and cheese on top of it. it was so so good and then we went out and you know just hung out for a little bit but that was pretty much it now the next game was kind of like the the pre X games day so like it wasn't open to the public they weren't starting competitions yet but we were like able to get in since we were there with like monster and envious and things like that and so we went we picked up our badges uh, I got a badge that's like a, a non-competing athlete badge which I was not expecting to get and basically what that is, is it's like I'm an athlete. Like I can get anywhere in the facility. It was like super, super, super VIP. I could get into all the athlete lounges where like, you know, Tony Hawk and Ryan Sheckler and like all these, Ken Block, all these other guys are. We'll talk about them soon. I got to meet uh, all those guys. And, uh, and it was really crazy. And we just kind of walked around. We checked out all the setups for, for like gaming. And then we saw the rally track, the motocross, things like that. So it was kind of cool. And uh, yeah, it was kind of a low-key day. Now, uh, the next day, the first day of X Games is where things really started to get kind of fun and kind of crazy. So uh, I met so many people at this event. Like, I wasn't expecting there to be this many people at the X Games for gaming, but it was crazy. Like, I met a ton of you guys, and it was a lot of fun. Like, like I said, like, literally the highlight of a lot of these trips for me is being able to meet you guys and interact with you guys. And, you know, I'm still humbled by the fact that people come up to me and want me to sign stuff. Like, that seems crazy to me, but I'm happy to do it. You know, I'm happy to hang out and talk with you and take pictures and things like that. So that's one of my favorite things to do. And I got to do it all weekend. Like at one point, I think there was a five hour line outside of the MLG tent to get in. And this is like in the hot Texas sun. Like it's crazy how, uh, you know, kind of dedicated some of these guys were. So uh, that was really, really cool. You know, the, the support there was really, really crazy. And even the X Games were like surprised by how much support there was there for gaming, which is kind of cool. But uh, yeah, so it was the first day we kind of watched some of the, uh, the matches. And then we went to uh, the street competition, the skateboard street which is like obviously one of the biggest events of the X Games. I got to watch my favorite skater, Nigel Houston, skate. I got to see Ryan Sheckler. Like, I remember watching his TV shows when I was little and wanting to be like him. Uh, and like, actually, because we had the athlete badges, me and some of the guys that play on Envy, like Nameless and Study were with us, I think. Uh, we uh, we got to walk up, like, 
literally where the guys were dropping in. Like we weren't up in the stands watching where normal people watch from. We were literally like standing next to the skaters as soon as they got done. Like when they were done with their run, they would step off of the concrete and that's where we were. We were like feet from them. It was one of the craziest things in the world. And I'm sure we were on TV a few times. That was really, really cool. Uh, but uh, yeah, we'll talk more about Nigel Houston later because I've got a really like insane story about that. If you guys know who he is, he's like absolutely insane skater. He's 19 years old and the most decorated X game skater of all time. So I got a cool story with him. But anyway, yeah, the rest of the day was pretty cool. We just kind of watched matches, went to a, a monster party that night. And holy crap, look at this picture right here. I am staring down into the eyes of death. That is Rampage Jackson. <laughs> that was one of the scariest moments of my life. He is such an intimidating man. But he's actually really, really cool. I actually got to sit down and talk to him for a little bit. And we ended up exchanging numbers. Like, I have Rampage Jackson's number. What am I ever going to do with that? I've got no clue, but I've got it. So, uh, hey, at least I did something right, I guess. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, so that was a fun night. Uh, the next day, the second day of X Games, uh, again, it was fun. You know, I got to meet my homegirl right here, the bus driver. She was awesome. I absolutely love her. Uh, I don't know what she's doing right here, like trying to strangle me or something, but uh, she was really cool. I wish I could, like, give her a camera and tell her to record her life because she was a character, I will tell you that. But uh, it was a fun day. We kind of hung out. We watched more video games. We played video games. I, I got to meet Tony Hawk and Ryan Sheckler in a food line in the Athletes Lounge. Like, they gave us free food, so we were waiting for pasta, and they were, like, literally right next to me, so I just said, what's up? Unfortunately, I didn't get a picture with them, but uh, it was cool to be able to meet them. They both seemed really, really cool. And then that night, we went out and we kind of like hung out and partied on 6th Street. 6th Street is like, you know, downtown Austin. They shut off like four blocks of a street and it's nothing but bars and clubs and just people having a good time. So it was a lot of fun. Like, you're study getting it right here. Uh, he was funny. He was like, cra go crazy all night long. Uh, he's a really funny dude. And yeah, it was, just, it was a really good night. So uh, that was the second day of X Games. And then finally, the third and last day of X Games was uh, was pretty cool. I actually got to play on the main stage. So they had like a, a VIP match. It was myself. Uh, Allie, Rambo, and Pomage versus the Old Men of Optic, which was Optic Hex, Fwiz, Diesel, and then Justine. And, uh, and we got to play them. We absolutely dominated them. They, the first map, they were down one player, but then the second two maps, we still beat them handily. Obviously, Rambo carried, but uh, it, was just a, it was a lot of fun, man. Like, I got to play in like one of the big soundproof booths at the X Games with like a bunch of people watching and a bunch of people watching on screen. Like it, it was definitely a very, very humbling and, and like one of the moments that I'll, I'll remember for the rest of my life. Like it, it's so cool to experience what those professional sp players experience, uh, you know, when they go to these events. Like it, it was a really, really cool feeling. So that was pretty cool. I got to hold the X Games gold medal, which was awesome. They're actually a lot more heavy than you would think they are. And and then finally, we got to see Optic take the championship, which uh, which I'm happy about. Like, obviously, I, I'm pulling for Team Envious. They got fourth. Uh, it wasn't our best tournament. We did kind of play pretty poorly quite a few times, and, and hopefully we can do better at Anaheim. But uh, I was happy that my boys on Optic got first. They definitely deserve it. They've been working for that for a long time. And, and I love all the, the players and, and, you know, obviously Hex and, you know, all those guys that are affiliated with that organization. So I'm happy for them. Uh, and happy to see them win. Now, uh, the the next day, the day that I'm traveling to E3, this is the day that was like the craziest for me. So I get to the airport and I'm sitting there waiting in line to check in. And then all of a sudden, Nigel Houston's right there. And Nigel, like I've always been a big fan of Nigel. Like I said, he's 19 years old and he's one of the most, or he is the most decorated skater of all time uh, now because he won the the street, the skateboard street gold uh, at you know the 2014 X Games. So uh, I see him and, and I'm like. No, holy shit, I need to get a picture with him because I've seen him like this weekend. I've been close to him and stuff, but I've never asked for a picture. And so I'm like super fanboying out and I go up and I'm like, hey, dude, could we get a picture? And he's like, oh, yeah, of course. So we take a picture. And I was wearing like this Monster Energy shirt. And, and you know, he's like, a, that's like his biggest sponsor is Monster Energy. And he's like, oh man, I like your shirt. And I kind of explained to him that like Monster was, you know, sponsoring Team Envious and that's why I was here and, you know, the whole pro gaming thing. And he's actually a, a big fan. Like I think FaZe Temper gave him his scuff uh, earlier in the weekend when they met. But uh, he was like, oh dude, that's awesome. Like he was all about it. He like, I guess plays Call of Duty or, you know, whatever. And he's like, dude, do you want a board? And I was like, uh, I mean, sure. And it's so funny because it's like, you don't think this is like superstar, like athlete is like a normal person, but he's like, hey, mom. And like his mom was behind him and she comes running up and, and he's like, you know, hey, mom, this is Trevor. Let's give him a board. And so they gave me uh, his board. And this is like the board that he won 
the X Games gold on that weekend, and that's the board that made him the most winningest skater of all time in the X Games, which is like, it's literally crazy. Like, I was completely mind blown. I still have that thing. I gotta figure out some way to get it framed or something like that, but he was just, he was a really, really cool dude. And it was funny, because I got through security and everything, and I'm sitting there waiting for my plane, because I was flying to LA for E3, and he lives in California, Southern California. So he was on that plate as well. And so he saw me again. He was like, oh, what's up, bro? Uh, and it was, it was kind of cool. You know, it was kind of cool. I saw him a second time. So, uh, yeah, there was that. And then I got on the plane. I was sitting there. And then all of a sudden, I see P-Rod rock by. Paul Rodriguez, literally one of the most legendary skaters of all time. Always been a big fan of his as well. And he's, like, walking back into the, the back of the plane. And so I'm sitting there. I'm like, all right, I got to meet P-Rod, too. And so we get up in the air. And, like, literally, like, every skater that, like, matters is on this plane. Like, so there were so many, like, really, really popular skaters. But I was the most kind of starstruck with P-Rod and Nyjah. And, and we land in L.A. And then I kind of, like, get off the plane. I'm waiting there. And, and you know, P-Rod comes out with this, like, super hot girlfriend. And, and I'm like, hey, bro, like, I'm a big fan. Can we get a picture? And he's like, oh, yeah, of course. And, and we talked for a little bit. And his girlfriend took a picture of us. And it was just, it was really cool. So, uh, yeah, that was just, like, completely starstruck. Like, I, I've always been a big fan of kind of, like, you know, skating. I used to skate quite a bit. I still surf quite a bit. Uh, I snowboard whenever I can. And I've just always been a big fan of board sports. So it was really kind of like a dream come true to meet those two guys. And, and I, just, I couldn't believe it. So that, that was kind of like one of the, the highlights of my weekend for me. And, uh, and yeah, that was pretty much it. Then I went to E3, and, and you guys know that E3 is just, you know, crazy, all kinds of, you know, video games to be played, and, you know, I went to the Advanced Warfare showroom where they got to see one of the, the, you know, exclusive campaign missions that I talked about in, you know, yesterday's video, or maybe it was the day before. I, I went out to the Twitch party, which is always, like, one of the biggest events of these events. Like, the, the events aren't even a big deal. Like, the Twitch party afterwards is what everybody looks forward to. And so I saw a bunch of people there, like, I was hanging out with, uh, you know, Gold Glove and Tucker and Syndicate and all those guys I haven't seen in a while. Uh, RPM or Ryan came out. I got to see some of the Sledgehammer guys and hang out with uh, with my friend Guy, you know, Dr. Disrespect. He's, uh, he's you know, one of the, the multiplayer designers for the game now, and he's, like, the only guy in the world that can make me look, uh, you know, somewhat short. I'm 6'5". He's, like, 6'8". Or six nine, it's crazy, uh, but uh, yeah, it was a lot of fun. And uh, and then the the next morning, it was kind of all capped off with an amazing first class meal on the way home. Like I have no clue why, but I guess since I've been flying so much lately, I have like this you know special like status on American Airlines that I'm getting these first class upgrades for free all the time. Like it literally makes no sense, but it's been happening a lot lately. And uh, and this one was like one of the longer flights. I was flying from LA to Chicago. And, and I got like this elaborate chicken salad meal that was like hot and fresh prepared and I got like warmed up cashews beforehand as an appetizer and like a hot towel afterwards to put on my face. It was it was really, really cool. I'm not used to that lavish lifestyle, but I did enjoy it. So uh, yeah, that was my past week. It was absolutely nuts. I enjoyed the crap out of it and I'm just so humbled. Like I, I don't deserve all of this stuff, but uh, I'm gonna enjoy it and I'm gonna, you know, kind of try to share it with you guys and bring you guys along the way. So next time I'm gonna have to try to do a better job of vlogging, but uh, you know, since I did promise you guys I would, I wanted to at least bring you guys some sort of recap with some footage and some pictures and stuff like that so anyway I hope that you guys enjoyed the video thank you guys so much for watching bunch of great videos coming soon I promise next time I'll do a better job of keeping up with the vlogging and bring you guys uh, more daily vlogs from these type of events because uh, that's something you guys have been asking for and I, I love to bring you guys uh, stuff that you want to see so again thank you check out one of the other videos you've seen yet peace out guys